It's time for a series promoter to show all athletes and teams the respect and admiration they deserve. If that's not a direct shot at UCI, I don't know what is. The man is spitting absolute fire. This year, Downhill has had its fair share of news. We have the new Red Bull Hardline series coming to us, and then we also have the new Monster Energy Pro Downhill series coming to America. This new series is the next phase and progression of American downhill mountain biking, and I'm so excited to see where it goes. Before 2024, downhill mountain biking in America only really had one pro platform, and that was the Fox US Open of mountain biking at the Killington Resort in Vermont. This is how we found who the US champion was. Other than that, there really wasn't any specific way for American downhill riders to feel the stage of a pro race. There are lots of regional races held across the US, but nothing that kind of transcends as being the US the US specific series. That is all changing now with the new 2024 Monster Energy Pro Downhill Series. It is gonna have four stops this year. It's gonna start off in Ride Rock Creek in North Carolina, April 5th through the 7th. Mountain Creek Bike Park in New Jersey, May 24th through the 26th. A Southern California venue that will be announced is gonna be held on August 16th through the 18th. And then once again, the Fox US Open at Killington Resort, Vermont on September 26th through the 29th. This series will be open to all American riders, both pro and amateur. Um, teams and individual riders, as well as any international riders that are willing to take on the challenge. Uh, Dakota Norton, our 2023 US Open champion said, with downhill racing growing in America and the World Cup field getting tighter, it's exciting to see a series in the United States for up and coming riders to break through and elites to hone their craft. We have good regional development racing in America, but have a real need for racing geared towards high level athletes that unites both coasts for a deep field of talent. I'm really excited to have a premier racing series in America. Again, that's Dakota Norton. To have a series of for riders from across the US to have an opportunity to not just race in one race a year, but in multiple races that has that hopefully will eventually progress to have the prestige of being the U.S. National Series. Uh, Sean Heimdall from Monster Energy said, Sponsoring the U.S. National Series is a great opportunity to not only cultivate the Monster Army program, but also a great spot for all amateurs alike to cut their teeth in racing. Looking forward to building a base for the future stars while progressing and elevating events that will bring out the world's fastest athletes. It's time for a series promoter to show all athletes and teams the respect and admiration they deserve. If that's not a direct shot at UCI, I don't know what is. The man is spitting absolute fire. People are clearly unhappy with how downhill racing is being held right now. That's why do you think Red Bull Hardline is coming up? Why do you think people like Nico Mullally are creating their own teams and their own race bikes? People want a different atmosphere for downhill mountain biking. In a couple of the comments that I've read after a couple of my recent videos, some of you have stated that because UCI has the prestige and the history that nothing could happen to UCI. And I completely understand that sentiment but clearly the market is starting to change. But I am very excited for this series. I'm very excited to see where it goes um, and see how it can grow over the next following years. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you're interested in more content like this, check out this video right here about the greatest downhill racers of all time. And without further ado, peace.